All right, let's do some gameplay for Bologna, shall we? In a game, what is this defense? Metallic. Probably a couple people gonna shoot for it. A game with Molten without Endurance. Could still be viable depending on how many four or five star gray units we get or even green units, potentially. I kind of like to get Karkid on early because it's better disruption right off the bat for a little bit of a longer period of time as well. I'd almost rather get my Karkid on to tank first because the problem with Bologna tanking right off the bat is the fact that um, if she takes the mana, she's going to do damage back to the Poseidon to give him the mana that he's going to need to cast his ability. So this way we bait to only have one player, or rather one unit, uh, to get frozen there, and as a result, the Bologna should win the rest of the 1v1 afterwards. With all that armor, damage reduction. Preserve the one health, because every health counts. Now at this point, this is actually insanely good mage stuff. If Hades is in the game, we might want to get that. We can honestly buy and hold all that stuff. Because we'll get a level up for free next round anyway. Resourceful's in the game, Wisdom's in the game. That would be really good for even like Hebo. People are going to be fighting for Bakasura, so... Let's do that. Let's see what happens. I'm kind of curious. If we could just stick it on a good unit. This guy's building himself up to be in a good position later on. If I could just get him off one ability here, that'd be nice. Nope. Oh, I got off a second stun. That's really unfortunate. I'd be shocked if I win this one. Yeah, that was three stuns he got off that round. Because of the 50% health that he got there. Shock with these abilities is good. This is such a good unit to have early on, though, is the problem. I'm just going to buy and hold this for next round. And we're going to force ourselves to level up and get this. We'll see what we can do with her. So we want to bait the Karkadon to get hit by the Thanatos in the back there. So that way Karkadon will throw him back up. Buy us a little bit of time. I doubt we're still going to even win this because... I think that's just probably too good right now. A little bit of a disruption, but it's not enough there. Here comes the healing. Eh. Nah. Not enough. Not enough. Once we get Void, that'll be good for us against Hera player. No Athena this game. Level up. Put this item on you as well. Wouldn't be bad, huh? Especially with the little babies. This guy's AFK. Or he's ah uh, he's aggressively leveling. That's what he's doing. Well he's only level three. Okay. Let's see what that's all about. I don't think we want to go more than like two astral or two void. There's a Poseidon and a Zeus player, so the fact that we're getting these mage traits this early is good. We don't have to go more than two and two. Crystalline 2 wouldn't be too bad for us either. This guy has not bought anything yet, and he's still a level 3. He must be really aggressively rolling for things. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. If he's not going to do anything, he might as well go to level 4 at this point in the game. Trying to hit the higher uh, rarity units wouldn't be an unheard of strategy. It's been experimented with before in the past. Whether or not it's successful, it's hard to say right now. The game is still very early in terms of the competitive scene. Uh, Hera can actually still win early to mid game, so I'm kind of surprised this guy. If that's what he's actually doing, that he's tanking. And another void. Sweet. Another crystalline as well. I think we're just going to level and roll. Because I don't want this either. 
And we hit the Amatar. Ooh, these are both good. Hmm, I'm trying to think which is better, though. Because here's the thing. I want to get both, and I might replace the Arachne anyway, late game. So, I'd rather put the Amaterasu with that item um, to make her tanky with this item. And then put, like, things that she can proc with her attack speed. She has such a high attack speed. I think it's, like, 1.3. So, Thunder is good on her. Judgment Thunder. Or maybe just Thunder and, like, Elite. So, that way, if she does get hit by crowd control, she'll reflect that damage and have even more tankiness. Oh, Arcane. No, because she doesn't do that much damage to justify that. Unless we do Agility Thunder. Applying all the voids. Love to see that. No. Yeet. And the bird's wings got clipped. Okay, I kind of want to put her with Thunder next unit as well. CC immunity on whoever this is going to be. Because it's also going to damage amplify them. So let's say Jean Cui with uh, Sorcerer's Slippers. As long as he casts this ability, we're chilling. Now the problem here with picking up Amaterasu is that she doesn't synergize with the Bologna passive. So we have to keep in mind if we want to keep these gray units, level them up like what we want to do. Susano, we can kind of like bait here. Actually, no, we bait you there. Simply because um, we want the Susano to be distracted here. Something like this. Oof. Okay, well, mine is a little bit more effective. That's a good typhoon there. Should still easily win this, right? In theory. He doesn't have... Oh, no. We're actually going to lose this? This will be sad. That's so sad. We lost that. That's so sad. Okay. Uh, Stun item... Hmm. Yet again, I want to aggressively roll for you, maybe. There's our Jean Cui we were talking about. Could also go with Zanami if we do defense metallic. Nobody's picking it up yet, actually, surprisingly. Huh. I'm genuinely surprised nobody's picking her up. So why don't... Oh, yeah, why don't we do this? Do this and this. We'll level up for three gold next round. We'll stick her in. We'll try to get defense metallic. We can even put her... Mm, no, she doesn't have that much base damage to justify that. This guy doesn't have... Um, do something like this. We have so many front lines. Probably should have put him there. Just want the Bologna to jump in the background there. Proc that void. Now Uller's not healing. Another one. There we go. Mm, we might not win this. Okay, we should win this. Never mind. A little bit of tankiness there. With the lead. Nice, another metallic. So we have a metallic online. We could actually put it on him as well, now that I think about it, especially with this armor value. Put the armor on her. Right, in theory, because she'll benefit from the additional power. With more armor, she'll have more scaling. She can survive against assassins a little bit more effectively. Like there's a Bakusur with fire four. So we could do that actually. That is an option we have available to us. There's our thunder. She has such a slow attack speed that we don't like putting thunder on her. But we don't have many other good options. Putting thunder on him. We can swap it later, is the thing. Hmm. We can also buy and buy and put the Bakasura in next. There's nine Bakasuras, which means nobody is purchasing him. There is a very good likelihood chance that I can actually get a good Bakasura. 
so we'll do that instead. We don't need thunder now. If we lose this round, it's not the end of the world. It's 89 health. I'd rather be a little bit cleaner about how I place my traits. It's very tempting to obviously finish a trait, but it's not, you know, required necessarily. Ooh, 478 damage crit. That four fire was actually working out for him for a little bit. But then Izanami happened. She decided to crit. Okay, so now, ooh, the training blade as well. We do like that. Molten without endurance is not a thing that we care about. We still need those defenses online as well. So I kind of want to roll, but this item is really good to not get on Bakasura. Could get evasion on her. That wouldn't be too bad, actually, now that I think about it. We only have one reroll after that, which is fine? Question mark? Is it fine? It's fine. It's fine! It's real fine. Although, who am I going to give these to? Do I even want to go for Thunder? I do want the upgraded Amaterasu for sure. Chances of me getting four Thunder with our Surya Manning is highly unlikely. Hitting four Metallic is very nice here. Could also... Nah, this doesn't do ability damage, so putting that on you doesn't make sense. We have to get this upgraded Amaterasu, though. We're not hitting the blues and greens, like, consistently. Ooh, that Crystalline. Oof, ouch. My butt. Alright, so we got off at least our jean -Qui ability. That's critting, but it's not enough. We need Bakasura to 1v1, but he's getting slowed. He's a slow boy. That bladed web on our plush. It's pretty good because the zombies get the same item effects. And as a result, all those zombies, as long as they get off one basic attack, are going to apply all that slow. Next unit with Metallic. If we lock this in, we hurt our chances of hitting defense as well. I'd rather try to finish the defense. As opposed to trying to hit those. Magical power here is good. The evasion is good as well. This is going to make um, my balloon a little tankier. Putting damage on you if I get defense on you with the metallic is good. Health. We're not getting the defense, surprisingly. Still seven remaining. So we're going to aggressively continue to roll the next two to three rounds, depending how long it takes. Maybe like this. Spread you out like that. Oh, this guy has no assassins, so it's actually no point for me to do this. Good boy damage. Pretty good. And the Void, cleaning it things up. Still at the top three currently. Took out the number bottom two guy. Yeah, this guy's still AFK. He's like giving up. Third evasion. Crit immunity is good, but there's no Loki or luck slash force that we have to worry about. So this item is like, eh. It's good. If we wanted to replace you, we could do that actually. But it's yet again, it's like another purple that's not falling suit with what we wanted to do. We do want. To, I mean, if we're gonna get that, we're gonna get that. We'll take those. We still need to aggressively roll for that defense, though. We have to keep that in mind. This guy's one assassin. So we'll do things like this. Should be good. Like I sort of should lose the 1v1 to probably the Zanami, considering that. She... Or actually, let's see. Boxer is going to go there. Okay. Oh, damn, dude. Just need to get up one hit. One more hit. There we go. 
As long as we get off the hits and she doesn't evade it. Oh, she actually does have evasion. By the way, this Jean-Cree is going to be popping. We still need that defense though, dude. Oh my god, I'm getting so many good upgrades. I like this. I really, really like this now. Okay, next... We could buy and hold this, level up for four, six. We need this if we get the defense, you know? Especially with his ability, because his ability gives him defense as well. He's getting 80 plus 25%, so right now he's getting an extra 120 physical protections, and that 120 is going to get converted into 60% as well, so that's pretty good there. It's at 72% additional power, so this is going to scale really well there. And if I can get 4 Metallic on my 8th and ninth unit, that'll be nice. So yeah, we're going to spend the 6 gold between the level and the item upgrade. And then see what other units here. If it's not a good unit, we'll reroll. That's 7 gold. We'll have 3 gold left over after the reroll to decide what unit to pick up. Unless it's a double legendary, I should be able to get a good unit. Oof. Okay, we're not winning that one. Are we? Maybe? Is it Nami? Bakasura is Nami? If my Ryzen casts, I win. Cast. E. Wait. Okay, we're good. That was close. Zombies almost took me out there. Okay, so we do this. We level up. We don't want the Karkadon or the Ymir. There's 10 remaining, but... Ideally, we get. I mean, okay. Sure. Now, what we could do. This is very aggressive to do this, but. Could level up. <coughs> Sorry. We could level up next round for 8 gold. We'll be at level 9. We'll be probably the highest level in the game. And then get four metallic, which would definitely increase my thing. So Thanatos is going to go in one of these suckers. Let's see, what am I putting you there, honestly, either? We'll see what happens here. Feeling confident because the metallic on her is going to go from 60 to 90% additional power as well. Let's see where the Thanatos goes. Hits her once. Gets that off, the metallic. 370 damage now. There we go. You'd love to see it. Oof, that's not good. Hey! It's alright. This guy's level 6. He's heavily underleveled. He's crippling himself, actually. He's trying to get Earth Elite online. Ooh. I mean... We could... Yeah. <laughs> we could do a lot of things here. Okay. Um... Let's get a good item. We still need that defense, and we're not getting it yet, though. This item is also not bad. Evasion is in the game. No one's picking it up. I have two. Someone else has one. Maybe I get this and this on you. But we want defense as well. He has a good amount of attack speed that he would actually benefit from having this and this as well. Like, what's that, 0 0.8? Yeah, 0 0.8 attack speed. Not too bad. Add 100 damage, by the way, as well. With, what, 50 armor? So he's going to get 90% of the 50. So 40 armor. Or 40 of that is getting converted. 40% extra. Or, sorry, 45. 45% of his 100 power. So he's going to get additional 45 power. But it's going to be off of not 100 power, but 125 power. Because of the item. Shockery popped off. Oh, his Guan Yu is tier 2 and he casted. Alright, well, I'm going to have Guan Yu next anyway. This guy hit level 9 and a Guan Yu out on the field. That's tier 2 in round 14. How? He must have hit it real early. Okay. Pog, Pog, Pog. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we kind of want him to be aggressive. Because as soon as he goes in, he's in. Uh, this guy has been consistently putting a Susano there to try to go on my Amaterasu. Do I want him to face my Izanami instead? Let's see what happens. <laughs> There's no way it hits 6 Metallic, right? We still need that defense, which we're not hitting, by the way. Kind of sad boys about that. 
Astral on you would be sick. We'd do that instead. We could even put the magical armor instead. Holy shit. 130? His ability is going to slap. I think we do that. His ability is going to destroy. Especially if we can get this to tier 2. Oh, the silence though. That's so unfortunate. And then Crystalline Silence off the Typhoon. Oh, that's just awkward. Alright, we still win. I wanted to see my Guanyu pop off though. We're sad. Bologna popped off. We kind of do and don't want him to... I mean, we do have Bologna. We're not going to hit this defense, are we? We could still get Astral. Get 75% crit damage. Can I hit this defense one time? We do want this as well. Honestly, we kind of want it on you, but at the same time... I feel like you're not doing much. Are you doing much? I feel like you're not doing much. Oh, there's our defense. Derp. I almost, like, passed by that. <laughs> okay, well, now we're re-rolling for another defense there. The anti-healing's not terrible here. Probably just want to re-roll for that defense. Not hitting it. Can you cast before you die? He casted, boys! Oh, he only did... Okay. Why don't you do more? By the way, this balloon is top tier. <laughs> is resolve in the game? No, it's not. I'm thinking like, hey, maybe I go uh, resolve metallic here and put the resolve on the go on you, but no. No, 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 no. You know what else I need to do? I think I should let my Centaurian tank instead of my... Did I lock that in accidentally? Or is that the same thing? By the way, you is... It's pretty good. We'd like that. This guy has Thanatos. I'm not sure which way he's going to go with it. Mm, man, I really, really, really want that defense. So we're not hitting it. But we're going to lock that in as well. This is so sad. Now nah, we have to roll for this defense. Tier 3 armor is nice though, but... So is defense. I guess if we're gonna do this... Might as well put agility on you. Since we're gonna lock this in for tier 3 armor Tarasu, just to empty the slot. Could replace the item if we want to get a different one eventually, but no, it's not worth. That guy's level 7. He's trying to upgrade his green uh, Summon Kong here, which is going to get anti-healed by Guan Yu's popping off. Oof. Doing pretty good here. Divine Intervention, not enough there. He's also trying to hit that tier 5 Scotty that's only tier 2. 6 Metallic. I mean, if we do this, this is risky, but... There's four of them left. Maybe we do it later on when there's only us two remaining. This guy's evasion, so we need that anti-miss items against him. <laughs> nah, we can't do that. It's a cute idea, though. This is actually really sick, too. For him, but... Rot of rot. I'm gonna be bad on you. What is that? 90% power on 80 armor? 9 times 8. 72% extra damage. So no, that's not as much. There we go. We wanted that on you. I think we need this on you now. Mm. We don't get this tier 3 version, do we? Nah, we don't need the tier 3 version. We need that defense is what we really need. So we're just going to reroll constantly for the defense. It's a better power spike to get the defense on her, trust me. Because that 70 armor translates to damage now on her. And it's going to help her survive against this Bacchus slightly. Until he uses his ability. 
We almost one-shot her. Or one-shot him, rather. So... He's winning now because of his door passive, uh, giving him 20 power, 20% 20 attack speed. I think it's 20 20. It's 20, it's 20 20, yeah. There's our defense. Finally, dude. Now she went from 300 low threes to mid fours. We can also hit more defense potentially. We also want this Achilles on somebody, probably you. There we go. More magic armor. His ability is going to slap. Last time, I don't know if he got it off there or not. That's his Guan Yu. Soul Cleaver. Hmm. Maybe on you, because you already have Astral. Now that I think about it. Yeah. Uh, he has no assassins. Something like this. Something like this. Yeah, Ho Yi with this item is really good. Guan Yu is what? <laughs> Guan Yu just one shot his Zeus. 945 damage crit. Oh, <laughs> Guan Yu, let's go, dude. Ooh, love to see it. There's that. Uh, rod of Rod. Honestly, we already have Void. We don't need it. Wisdom instead of Astral. We would get rid of Wisdom on... No, we want the Astral on you. We get with Wisdom... Because you're going to be Utility, right? So these two would get the Wisdom. Hmm. Six remaining. That could have been my second Wisdom. That would have been perfect, too, as well. I really want to hit that Defense Metallic, though. Put defense on you, so we get rid of an astral there, and then like defense there. Maybe just defense metallic there before we get on the Achilles, actually. Hmm. Yes. It, this is like a sign telling me to get wisdom, honestly. But I want to be greedy for the defense. <laughs> because the Thor, man, the Thor's damage is insane, so the defense is actually going to help us survive longer. Damn, dude. Yeah, if we can get defense metallic on him, his damage is going to skyrocket as well. Okay, so we need to watch out for this Susan on the bottom left side now. We didn't pay attention to that. Actually, yeah, we did not pay attention to that at all. That's good. That's good, too. But damn, that's like... That's going to be a six gold purchase in the next round, and there's not going to be that many rounds now. Hmm. Kind of like tighten this up a little bit. She's going to be really tanky. She's mitigating so much damage. Somewhere in the 70% range against this guy. Oh, it's going to make you slap as well, dude. He's going to hit for so hard. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, put you there. Something like that. We're not really using our Bologna passive much except for you. <laughs> you, I guess. And like, eh, three things there. That's so we like that. Oof. That's awkward. Mm. Is that enough? Is that enough though? Is it enough, baby? Oh, dude, that the Void? Void, baby. We take that void. Still need that defense here. I don't want that crit damage. We do want this as well. There's going to be so much magical damage coming through from this Guan Yu. Holy. If he just doesn't die... Okay, so last time the Susano was there against my... This Anami... I must want to put you there, actually. Uh, depending how this goes. Could also... No, he'll get one shot, right? This is no... Might... It's hard to say, though. Yeah, we need that. We really need that as an army. 
to be tier three. Because at 110 base damage, every 25% she gets her is like 25 plus an extra two, so 27 damage, which is going to scale by 90% from the metallic. She'll go from 467 to around low 500s, maybe mid 500s, I'm not sure. A little bit of attack speed, not much though. Susan's going to go in the bottom left. Yet again on the Zanami, not ideal. There we go. Need the Guanyu to not die, but it's okay. Goodbye, Jarman. Gonna be against Omega German. So yeah, we're gonna drop probably Thunder for the defense metallic. Also Thunder and Evasion, because those two units. Oh, they're still all alive. Okay, so last time the Thanatos went here. If I recall correctly. More. Mm, we're not going to go six, right? We could go six, actually. Thunder Ho Yi damage was non existent there. Oof. King Arthur, though. Maybe for you. You don't have mana gained, is the problem. We can drop that for wisdom later, but nah. Take that. We take those. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Four stars, not me. No one else has it, so I mean, why not, right? Uh, the only thing that I have to worry about here is like if there's a unit like here. All right, where's the stances? Wasn't his stances there last time? That's kind of annoying. To <laughs> get one shot though. The anti-healing. It's gonna be close. Oh, we're gonna die to one hit. Uh, we almost died at one hit there. No way. Okay, we barely won that. Oh. Alright, no more assassin boys that we gotta worry about, I don't think, so that's good. Uh, oh my god, this guy has insane amount of legendaries, by the way. Like, actually insane. There's our defense we were looking for. Where's the Hoi? This is so aggressive, but I mean... I don't really want you. This might be useful. I don't even think he's going to get his ability off, if I'm being honest. <laughs> In this state. I'd rather reroll for like another defense. There we go. Do we drop an Astral? No, we might as well drop the things from the Amaterasu, right? Drop the Thunder. Because we might still keep Evasion on something drop a metallic or if we hit it i think we got health on you no holy shit actually i like this idea of the health though i just don't know who to put it on i guess you yeah i'm gonna reroll astral oh, void. this is good on you this guy has no healing either so we're gonna lock that in Actually, no, we're not going to lock that in. Because <laughs> we're fragging without it. I hope this guy doesn't carry with Shingwei tier 5. He could actually do that. Alright. Nice. Scary stuff, man. Scary stuff. <sighs> we need that other metallic, I guess. I thought we could drop a metallic for an evasion. On you, probably. Because we're not going to go 6 here. We'll do it this way. Let's see how he's going to position. kind of want these two to cast as soon as possible. Let's go for upgrades, I guess. Mana? Hmm. I don't know if... Hmm. He doesn't have healing. Do we even need Void? I don't know if we need Void. Oh damn. This one you casted.
One more round. One more round. I honestly don't think I need Void. Like, Juan used casting and fragged over there. Bologna's ability did good. I don't think I need Void. Agony's nice, but unnecessary. And also, that six defense is going to help so many other people as well. So we have one round that we could potentially lose on purpose. Well, not on purpose, but... If the Guan used there, I have better one-shot potential. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Ah, oh, so close. Very, very close there. Oh, that... Oh, he doesn't have Divine there. Right, GG. GG! Below the defense metallic. Not even our final form, but we did the job anyway, GG's.